Welcome back to Daily Flash. I am Matt Doodle, and welcome to this edition of Doing It. Thank you. Ladies and gents, today we are doing it in space. Hey, all right. Let me do that again. In space, hey, rather. Right. I got a very pleasant in surprise space. this past week. So as you all know, my wife is very involved in the space community. In fact, she wants to be the first <laughs> lawyer in space. Okay. Well, this past weekend, she yells to me from the back room, babe, you want to talk to an astronaut who's in space? I was like, what? what? And we know what that means. Yes, I do. <laughs> Is it dress up time? <laughs> Matt, what? Hey, man, good be. So this is aerospace engineer and NASA astronaut Jeanette Epps. Now, I met Jeanette a couple of years ago at a space conference in Houston. Of course, as you guys know, I sometimes say stuff without really processing it well. Right. You know, it can come out pretty dumb. Sure. But I've always said, hey, I went to space camp when I was 14, which basically made me an astronaut, right? And, or an <laughs> and yes, I did say that to Jeanette, who nicely said, Right, but it's true I did. You can you can see the photo that I have posted online as well as me, a little fat kid, and the shirt still fits. There you go. Yes, I look uh, a little, 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 little right there. In all reality, I was a captain and Capcom on our little missions over in Port Canaveral. However, the most important thing I did when I was actually there was make a fellow camper blow milk out of his nose 19 <laughs> times over the course of 10 days. Nice. With just some raunchy That's jokes. That's Matt. Well, she shared some incredible insights about life in space and how, despite a few setbacks in her journey, she's exactly where she's supposed to be. Jeanette spoke about her extensive training, mastering spacewalks, robotics, and even flying T-38 jets. Well, before finally being selected as an astronaut in 2009, her path still wasn't easy, though. After years of hard work, she was set to fly in 2018, only to be replaced last minute with her no reason. The same thing happened with the original Starliner launch she was supposed to be on, but she kept pushing forward. I'm pretty sure she's glad she missed that one. Mm -hmm. yep. Now in 2024, she's up there living her dream with the SpaceX Crew 8. She also gave us an update on Barry Wilmore and Sunita <laughs> Williams, who have been stuck up there for quite a bit longer than they were supposed to. Said, don't worry, they're fine filling the time. Jeanette also touched on something truly powerful, the overview effect. Now, it's that profound shift in perspective astronauts get when they see Earth from space. Oh, yeah. And she said it gave her a new understanding of humanity. Watching her talk about it, you could just see a twinkle in her eye and how it really meant something to her. It really made me think about those moments in life that change your perspective. For me, it was a recent trip to Washington, D.C. It was my first time there. And going from museum to museum, seeing how the country came together and the sacrifices that were made really hit me. It reminded me how much people can achieve when they really push through challenges. There you go. Speaking to an astronaut currently in space, floating around in the ISS, and hearing her story of waiting, disappointments, and perseverance was nothing short of inspiring. It's proof that even when things don't go as planned, you can still end up exactly where you're meant to be. There you go. And who knows, maybe one day I'll be doing it. Do, in do, space. do, 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 do it in space! How cool is that? And, and then the fact you think about technology, Matt, about oh, how crazy yeah. that is that we're able to talk to somebody just spinning around the earth. I mean, it's so weird, yeah. right? Zoom was crisp, clear, you could hear everything. Ooh. And sometimes I can't get a FaceTime to work right <laughs> down here. It was, it was amazing. It, it is one of those remarkable uh, achievements when you think about it. We can't get AC right in our buildings, but we can have a conversation with people. That is who true. The more technology. <laughs> well, and, and here's the thing: away. the things we learn in outer space allow us to have AC, AC. And, and you know, uh, and you yes. think about all those things that, that we develop and learn, and we wouldn't have those important things like Tang and Velcro. <laughs> Tang. <laughs> I always think of Tang. When I miss Tang. Talk about the space program. Isn't that great, Matt. Well, what a great opportunity. Thank yeah. you.